Welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into a detailed comparison of two popular Linux distributions, Fedora Linux and Manjaro Linux. Whether you are a developer, gamer or someone looking to switch to Linux, this video will help you understand the key differences, strengths and ideal use cases for each distro. Let's first talk about the overview and philosophy. Fedora and Manjaro are both well regarded in the Linux community, yet they cater to different audiences. Fedora is developed and backed by Red Hat and is known for its emphasis on stability, security and integration with enterprise grade technology. It is considered a cutting edge distro that also serves as a testing ground for future Red Hat Enterprise Linux innovations. Manjaro, on the other hand, is based on Arch Linux, but is designed with user friendliness in mind. It offers the benefits of Arch rolling release model, meaning you always have access to the latest software while providing a more accessible installation and configuration process. Manjaro targets power users, gamers, and enthusiasts who crave customization without the steep learning curve of a pure R system. Now let's talk about the package management and software updates. Let's talk about the package management. Fedora uses the RPM package format with DNF as its package manager. The system is highly robust, providing excellent dependencies management and security updates that are thoroughly tested before release. Fedora follows a point release model, meaning you get a fresh, stable version approximately every 6 months. Each version is maintained with security and bug fixes for a set period. Manjaro, built on Arch Linux, uses Pacman, a package manager known for its speed and simplicity. Thanks to its rolling release model, Manjaro continuously receives software updates allowing you to enjoy the latest kernels, drivers, and applications. Additionally, Manjara gives you to access to the Arch user repository, which is AUR, which offers thousands of extra packages. However, these models can sometimes lead to occasional instability if an update hasn't fully vetted. Now let's talk about the user experience and customization. When it comes to user experience, Fedora is designed for a polished, consistent desktop environment often defaulting to GNOME. This makes it a solid choice for developers and enterprise users who appreciate a clean, modern interface and reliable performance. Fedora's focus on open source and security means that while it might require a few extra steps to install proprietary drivers. It delivers a secure and stable experience out of the box. Manjaro emphasizes ease of use combined with highly customizability. It comes in several desktop environment flavors, including XFCE, KDE, and GNOME desktop environments. For users who love to tweak settings and tailor their desktop exactly to their needs, Manjaro is an excellent option. Its installer is straightforward and it includes handy tools like the Manjaro Hardware Detection which is MHWD Utility which simplifies installing proprietary drivers, a feature that particularly attractive to gamers and multimedia professionals. Now let's talk about the performance and hardware support. Performance is another key area of comparison. Fedora is optimized for modern hardware and high-end systems. It's engineered to take full advantage of multi-core processors and advanced graphics, making it ideal for developers, system administrators, and enterprise environments. Its default GNOME desktop, however, can be a bit resource intensive. Manjaro shines when it comes to versatility. Its lightweight additions such as XFCE version are designed to run smoothly on older or less powerful hardware while still offering a responsive and modern desktop experience. Additionally, Manjaro's rolling release model means the improvements and driver updates 
are delivered promptly which can be especially beneficial for gamers looking for the latest performance tweaks. Now let's talk about the security and stability. Security and stability are essential factors in any operating system. Fedora incorporates enterprise grade security features like SE Linux, ensuring a hardened system that is ideal for sensitive or production environments. Its structured release cycle means that every update is rigorously tested before it reaches your system. Manjaro, while offering up-to-date software, takes a more hands-on approach to stability. Its continuous updates provide access to the latest features and drivers. But users need to be comfortable with occasional troubleshooting. The trade-off here is between cutting-edge functionality and the need for occasional manual intervention to resolve conflicts or issues. Now let's talk about the community and support. Both distributions have vibrant, active communities. Fedora benefits from extensive documentation, official forums, and professional support channels backed by Red Hat. This makes it a great choice for users who need reliable, help in corporate or development environment. Manjaro supported by a passionate community of enthusiasts and the wealth of resource from the ArchWiki, offers quick and practical solutions. Whether you are a beginner or a seasoned Linux user, you will find plenty of community guides, forums and tutorials that can help you get the most out of your system. Which should you choose? So which one should you choose? If you are looking for a stable, secure an enterprise-oriented distribution with a predictable update cycle. Fedora is a strong contender. It's perfect for developers, sysadmins, and anyone who values robust security and reliability. On the other hand, if you want a highly customizable, bleeding-edge system with continuous updates and a user-friendly approach to Arch Linux, Manjaro is the way to go. It's particularly appealing for gamers, multimedia creators, and power users who appreciate having the latest software at their fingertips. Now let's talk about the final thing which is conclusion. Both Fedora and Manjaro offers unique advantages depending on your needs. Whether you prioritize the stability and enterprise support or the latest software and customization, there's a distro here for you. Let us know in the comments which one you prefer and why. If you found this video helpful, please like subscribe and hit the bell icon for more Linux comparisons and tech insights. Thanks for watching and happy computing. Peace out.